So I've taken lots of motivation in new videos I previously stated that I wanted to do, but I still want to make content for the channel. A friend of mine recommended that, as my last video was about my past with Sonic and my rather differing views on him, I should probably make a video on what my dream Sonic game would be. Because of how many general ideas I have, it was hard to pick out what would make a dream Sonic game to me, but I eventually narrowed it down. I'll say this now, if you don't agree that what I want is a game that should exist, fine. Fair enough. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if most, if not all of you, thought that way. This is just my hypothetical opinion on a hypothetical Sonic game. No need to worry. That said, let's begin. Ideally, I wouldn't want a Sonic game's tone to be a constant edge fest, but I wouldn't want a colors either. Ultimately, my favorite stories have generally dark tones and themes, but don't feel like they're devoid of life, joy, or real people. Even in games about fucking war like Call of Duty 3, characters can still pop jokes, characters can still make the best of what they're in without it seeming out of place and just being believable. My go-to example of a perfect tone would be Jack 2 and 3. It's got the grittiness to it, but it doesn't try to indulge too much in the worst of it. Vector and Sonic specifically would be characters I think to work well here, being very lively, but not being oblivious when real shit starts going down. Force has tried this, and while in some ways it succeeded, in other ways it didn't. I had the idea down, but sometimes execution seemed off or misplaced. I know it can be done, and to see it work well within a Sonic game would be awesome. In fact, I'd say Adventure 2, even considering my opinions on the game as a whole, did a nice job of what Jack 3 accomplished, but just to a little lesser extent. I'm personally more of a fan of semi-realism to realism. 06 Unleashed and very partially Shadow and Forest as being good examples of this. I'd like to give Sonic and friends actual fur in such of their bodies, and no, just Shadow and Silver's chest fur doesn't count. Also, hedgehogs having one full eye and two pupils has bugged me to no end. I never really complain about it openly, but it really does bother me. An artist named Shadisfaction does this kind of thing, and I'll shove in a few examples here. I tried to find the least, well, sexualized things they've done, and this is the best I could do. Now, the Sonic fan film tried this, and it looks like booty. But I know it can be done. Here's an 06 concept model as well. Obviously, it looks more like your average Sonic, but it at least shows the furriness to his design in 3D that I'm looking for. I can't wait to hear comments about that art. <clears throat> anyway, taking level visual styles from 06 and especially Unleashed would be the ideal fit for the world and environment for me, with a tad bit of notes from Forces. Add some real grit to the environments, but not so much that they feel super lifeless like some stages in Shadow. Five games I'd like to take note from on the soundtrack. Unleashed, Adventure 2, Forces, Shadow, and Black Knight. In Unleashed, themes always fit the environment. Instrumental and general composition befits the environment and culture of the level better than any game in the franchise. Adventure 2 brings amazing punk rock tunes, while Shadow brings much harder and intense rock into the mix. Forces uses synth nearly perfectly, and Black Knight masters grand orchestral pieces. All these games except for Unleashed are absolutely rich in vocal themes, and I adore this. Vocal themes should have a huge presence in this game. Levels, boss fights, opening and ending, all of it. If you want an example of a song that embodies the instrumental feel of the whole game, Mortar Canyon. Vocal theme, the original His World. Pure masterpieces. And now, for the most important part of all. I have all these ideas depending on the character, and it would take ages to really go over it all, so for the sake of it, I'll stick to Sonic alone. As a whole, I'd like a more of an action-adventure game from Sonic, focused on thrill, speed, and combat. Though platforming would be there, and necessary to clear and explore levels to the fullest, it wouldn't be the main focus. Think Shadow the Hedgehog, but with a more fleshed out base moveset and the removal of guns. I'll go over a basic idea of a game using the DualShock controller as a template. The X button would be used for a jump and can be used mid-air for a jump dash and homing attack, as you would expect. The homing attack would be different though. It can take out only the smallest of enemies and help cross large gaps while doing so, like a usual Sonic game. However, for average size and above, the homing attack will only bring you to an enemy and slightly bounce you off, like in Sonic and the Black Knight. This can help with repositioning, closing the gap, and setting up combos from the air. Square and Triangle would be weak and strong attacks respectively. You don't have to make an absolute fuckton of combos, but enough to call for different ones within different situations. 
These attacks, of course, also have to be very fast and satisfying, similar to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. The circle would mainly be an interact button, but can also be used for grabs mid-combo as well, nothing too crazy. The left and right stick buttons can be used for overdrive and giga break respectively. Names can obviously be changed to fit better with Sonic, but the base concept works like this. Overdrive fills up as you deal damage, and as long as you have some in the meter, you can activate it to increase your damage until the meter runs out or you deactivate it, a full meter being worth about 8 seconds. Giga Break fills up with higher combo numbers. You can activate it to massively increase your attack speed with a full meter being worth 12 seconds. If you have both meters active at once, they both drain at double the speed, with full meters being worth 4 and 6 seconds respectively. Triggers can both be used as combat dodges, the first couple frames of it being invincibility, promoting good timing. You can also only dodge with the four times in a row before you have to wait to dodge again to prevent total abuse. Left bumper can be used as a very quick block, which can also parry with good timing. You can only have that block up for about 4 seconds before it dissipates, the strongest of attacks can break right through it. Right bumper uses whatever item you currently have equipped, be it recovery, buff, or extra items for combat. You can have one assigned to each D-pad button and select it that way. The select button itself also opens up a menu for D-pad items, weapons, costumes, and the like. Levels should be designed with platforming and such as an element but secondary to action and other forms of exploration. A blend of Shadow the Hedgehog and Metal Gear Rising mission design would be ideal. Boss fights can have their own little gimmicks, but never stray too far from the core man-to-man -man battle. Set pieces would also be important, such as chase and escape segments, boss finishing cinematics, and a few sprinkled in QTE scenes, just as a few examples. Overall, a spectacle beat-em-up with some unique elements to differentiate itself from similar games would be something I'd love to see at least once in the series, and I'm not counting the Werehog, as it was a secondary playstyle and did some things that honestly needed plenty of touching up. All in all, this idea of a Sonic game I'd personally love is far from reality, but it's a game I'd love to see nonetheless. I want to present this more as a, this would be awesome thing, rather than, this is the right direction for Sonic to take thing. Because it's not. This probably wouldn't please that many people, because it strays quite far from what most people want or expect from Sonic. But regardless, I wanted to share the idea. What would your perfect Sonic game be? What do you think of mine? I'm always open to discussion. That said, I hope you all enjoyed. My name's Plymouth. Have a good one.